I was requested to make a video for number 4-60. So here we go. When um, I look at these, uh, I like to choose which way is better, substitution or elimination, based on the way the problem looks. And so since x is by itself, to me it is easier to do substitution. So then whenever you see x, you'll plug in negative 2y minus 3. So you would have down here, you have your 4y minus in parentheses, you'll put your x, negative 2y minus 3, equals 9. Then you'll do the distributive property. Negative times a negative makes it a positive. Negative times a negative makes that a positive as well. And so you have 4y plus 2y, so you have 6y. And then you subtract 3 from both sides to get 6. And then y equals 1. Once you know what y is, then you can plug it back in. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 minus 3 makes it a negative 5. On B, um, I see this one and I see a positive X and a negative X, which means those will eliminate pretty easily. Um, so if you add these two equations together, X plus a negative X makes that cancel. 5Y plus 2Y is 7Y, 8 minus 1 is 7. So then you get Y equals 1. And then you can take that and you can plug it in up here. And on that one, you have to find what your X is yourself. I'm not helping. And then on C, um, this time, again, I think substitution's better because this one has y by itself. And so anytime you see y up here, you can put the 2x plus 10. So you'd have 4x minus 2 times 2x plus 10 equals 5. So then you can do the distributive property, negative 4x, negative 20, 4x minus 4x, those are going to cancel. Um, and so then you have negative 20 equals 5. That does not even make sense. So that means that there is no solution. In fact, if you were to graph those two equations, they would be parallel lines. So hopefully that helps on that problem. And always feel free to reach out. I would love to help you on any and every problem that you need.